Okay, I've just uh, chucked the gun upgrade on my Z23, so I've got the 150 millimeter guns on there. Thought we'd uh, we'll have a quick battle and have a bit of a look at it. I hope everyone's having a great day today, or of course an alternative uh, night <laughs> here in Australia. It's uh, a little after midday. Now, I've only recently unlocked the Z23. I've only had a couple of games in her. Uh, seems very, very enjoyable. I'm looking forward to playing many more games in her. I'll put a link in the description below to my uh, my first video I made, which was when I actually purchased the ship and unlocked it. So looking at the uh, enemy team here, they've got two enemy destroyers, which... Uh, may be a good thing here. Now I'm umming and ahhing about here about going up the uh, right flank there behind those islands. Or perhaps moving left and seeing what's going to happen. I may leave my two comrades here uh, in a moment. Let's uh, let's see what pops up, eh? But we have a few alternatives. These uh, 150 millimeter guns look really deadly. I would love to capture the uh, A point here. If we're lucky and both uh, enemy destroyers have headed down to the Charlie point, uh, they're not going to have much to stop us. Let's see what we come up with. Pretty happy with those two enemies, especially this one. Okay, things are looking good so far. I definitely have my finger ready to uh, pop that smoke. <laughs> I'm spotted by an enemy destroyer here. Still no enemy destroyers popping up anywhere. I'm going to hold off... Uh, ah, there's one. One at Charlie. Hopefully they're both both heading there. That gives us a bit of a free run here at uh, these larger ships. I believe that's smoke from a cruiser, not from the second destroyer. And both there you go. Both destroyers are at Charlie, so we've got a good uh, good spot here. Of course, the Alabama's uh, or Alabama. If you say tomato, I say tomato. It's behind, uh, coming behind the island there, but it looks like. It's possible. No, she's going to do the smart thing here and uh, go behind the island. It's always a good idea to use islands as cover. No, no, it looks like she's uh, coming in. We're going to slow down here. Okay. But we are spotted, but we're about to become unspotted as we move behind the island here. And we're clear. She decided at the last second there that uh, popping out through that gap may not be a good idea with a Z23 uh, sitting there. A smart move. But is she going to continue on and run into this torpedo barrage? Let's hope so. Obviously, I'm just guessing that uh, she is going to come through. And there she is. Gonna pop smoke here. Just because I don't like the idea of getting destroyed. And there we go. Good start. And then just chuck a couple of HE rounds into the Richelieu. Hmm, pretty good damage there. I like these 150s already. Okay, now seeing we're destroyer free down here, we're going to hang around out here for a little while, I think. Come around behind the Wichita here. Now I'm really looking forward to upgrading my uh, torpedo reload time, as 
still got 30 seconds to go. I would much prefer to see that down around the 10 second mark now, which I think my uh, torpedo upgrade will allow me to do. I'm pretty safe here from being spotted. A pretty good uh, concealment rating. As soon as I come down to about that six and a half, we're going to turn. Now I could get a bit closer to and stay hidden, but I'm not going to risk it here because there's just way too many ships around. And firing. Hopefully she's just going to continue on there the way that she's going. I want to fire my second barrage, but I just want to see what she's going to do. Okay, I'm going to uh, try and get a bit of distance now away. It looks like uh, we're right on target there. Seeing I'm spotted anyway, let's have a few shots and she's a goner. Thank you very much. Oh. Now that seemed to be one of the uh, our destroyers, our other destroyer there, the Fletcher got uh, sunk there so we are now in a little bit of trouble we've got two enemy destroyers uh, <laughs> running rampant here now I'm actually gonna head over here and help try and help these guys over on the uh, left flank I think I've done my job over on the right here So there's a destroyer over there running rampant, a battleship and two cruisers, so <laughs> we're gonna but I'm up for the challenge. Can I request support from the Iowa here. I hope she can follow me over in this direction. Give me some uh, heavy fire support. I really want to help these guys get rid of uh, get rid of that destroyer. So we've got the Amagi and the Kerr first, both uh, trying to get out of the area fairly quickly. And the Wichita uh, prefer not to come up against if possible. But it is that destroyer that I'm more worried about, and there's one of the two. Now there's a target I want to sink. There's a lot of torpedoes in that area. Uh, now a smart Z23 player probably would have uh, gone the other way up to the top there and helped capture Alpha, but uh, I do want to help out my teammates here if possible. Now let's see if what happens here to the Kerr first. Let's say if she gets decimated. Jeez, I think it's... Uh, Wichita is going to come out there. I'm just going to uh, launch launch at her, I think. Just uh, on the off chance she runs into those. Unfortunately, I don't think that's a battle I'm going to be able to win over there. So it Looks like she's well and truly turning. So there's going to be a miss. Maybe by some chance that enemy destroyer will uh, run through there. This is the one we can uh, help out with here. Hopefully these guys can do a fair bit of damage to her and we can finish her off with our 150s. Ah, now there's, there's that destroyer. I think a uh, bit of a waste of a torpedo salvo there, but if Wichita had it continued on, <laughs> that would have made quite a mess of it. And it looks like this destroyer is on fire. Or flooding. So she may be gone anyway. And she is. Obviously we've got a uh, destroyer behind us here. Following me in, but uh, I'm going to ignore that right now and I'm going to go straight to uh, Alpha. And on the way, we'll give these guys a bit of support. It's a pretty close game. If we can get rid of that destroyer... 
but in my opinion she's going to be coming behind me but hopefully if these guys can spot her and she's coming this way I'm going to set a bit of a trap for her but if that's Yamamoto ah there she is alright that's what we want to see that's what we want to see these guys are doing the damage on that beautiful good to see Whoa. looks like they don't need my help at all <laughs> She's made a bit of a torpedo run at, at the uh, battleship there. Put on the brakes for a moment. Now, Charles Martel, what are you going to do? And what are you going to do? Okay, so we've got no. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the Alpha target now. We can just get rid of this cruiser. very happy. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. Close the range. Oh, look at that big Iowa. That's a big Iowa. I've got to get rid of this cruiser. It's the only danger to me. If I can get rid of that cruiser, I'm more than confident enough to... Uh, I'm going to give Yamamoto one, one burst. Gonna try and close on this. Now, what is she doing? She's reversing. Okay. Question: Do I? Huh. Looks like she Yamamoto's uh, peeling off to give us a bit of a broadside. I'm going to take that shot. It's too good of op an opportunity to miss. I'm going to keep moving away here as I'm getting closer to getting spotted and she's popped an aircraft which is a smart move could almost get away with firing off some HE rounds but I, like I said I am worried about this uh, Martel she's really the only ship that's going to cause me any dramas now Yamamoto's turning, is she turning into my torpedoes? yes come on, three hits oh ho, ho, ho. that's very well done very well done I tip my hat to you sir now I've been spotted but I'm unspotted but Martel would have seen that and she's coming straight towards me I'm actually going to take another shot at the uh, Yamamoto here looks like she's steaming ahead 8 seconds no she's turning shot at the Martel then because that looks like she's coming straight towards me in the hope of finding me and Yamamoto is coming straight towards this way as well by the look of it to come around the island here so I'm going to have another shot at her firing okay. I'd love to squeeze off some shots but I think that might tip her off that I've just fired What's the Martel going to do? Hopefully she's going to hit one of those. And she's dodged them again. We're going to be successful on the Yamamoto this time. <laughs> Looks like the answer is no. Jeez, we've been a bit unlucky here with our torpedo strikes. That could change with the big Iowa. The Martel's pulling you're gonna pull in tight. Pull in tight around the island here. Now I feel like firing one off here and uh, even if I do miss. Here's the Yamamoto again coming out. <laughs> These guys have really done well to miss all my torpedoes. There's another chance. Now again, I'm more than likely not going to be spotted here. 
well, having said that. <laughs> whoa, 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 there you go, that's why, uh... Again, my torpedoes have missed. I don't have much of a chance of getting another shot off, I think. I've got uh, 30 seconds left. Well, sorry to have uh, disappointed you uh, in this game. Missed quite a few uh, <laughs> torpedo runs there. Nice juicy target there, but again, I'm going to run out of time. 17 seconds. She's turning anyway. Both are. Well, that's uh, that's it for that game. Well, I thought I'd uh, give you a bit of a look at a, a game today. She's a uh, very enjoyable ship to use. I think, uh, unfortunately, that torpedo spread is just a little bit wide. Uh, I managed to make a little bit of profit today, which was good. 12,000. Uh, unfortunately, all those miss or, uh, <laughs> missed opportunities with the torpedoes really cost me. But uh, thanks for watching today's game. And I'll see you in another one. Bye for now.